So what happens when your blinker starts blinking really, really fast like that? Well, <laughs> it's pretty simple that um, the one of the t one of the blinkers is out, whether it be the back one or the front one. So you'll see the left hand side or the right hand side, whichever way you look at the car is blinking just like it should. Now the the other side obviously was blinking twice as fast. So what happens is there is a relay that powers both tail lights, both blinkers. So when one blinker is not working, like this one is not, that power that's that is uh, passed on to both of these bulbs is still the same amount of power. So what happens is it's pushing the same amount of power to the front light, uh, the front signal. So it's blinking twice as fast. So there is the replacement bulbs, and now we will. Um, go ahead and pop open the trunk and take out the housing and replace it. So here we go. Here is the housing. We will uh, take off the little cover and replace the bulb. It's fairly simple. Um, it's a couple minute video so you'll see all you gotta do. So this is my 2018 Honda Accord. This is a little cover that uh, is protecting the screws for the um, rear housing. So we pop that off. I would recommend using a screwdriver. It's going to pop right out, um, so you don't have to probably worry about breaking it unless you are just he-man and you, you want to, you know, break it, uh, put too much uh, torque and and, and um, bust it off. So make sure you um, hold on to the screws when you pull them out. You don't want them falling down in the the gaps between the housing and the engine or the <laughs> the engine the uh, the car itself. So you'll see that I just pulled it out. Now we'll come around the other side and the housing will come right off. That's it, simple. So the light, that the orange color um, housing there, we just turn that little knob and pop it out and there's the light bulb. So what we'll do is we will go get the um, other replacements, the new ones that I just bought and we will take this one out and replace it with the new one. Uh, so as soon as I walk back from the other side of the garage, poor planning on my part. All right, come on, hurry up, get back over here, sucker. There we are. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me, we just undo the bulb, uh, put the new bulb in. So there's grooves in the socket, so it can only go in one way. You can't put it in the wrong way. Uh, so once you find the right uh, position, you just push it in, turn it slightly uh, clockwise, and there you go. So now we'll turn on the um, signal so you'll be able to see, don't mind my flip-flops, uh, you'll be able to see the light bulb or the, the flasher um, turn signal. I can't even talk. The turn signal uh, work appropriately. But... Foolish me is I'm in the car trying to turn it on and I have my um, my uh, key fob sitting on the workbench behind the camera. So here in a second, I will get off my butt, go get the key fob, and see, here I go. I'll go get the key fob so I can uh, turn on the light and the turn signal. See, there we go. Smart, I know. Uh, we will turn it on and here we go. The turn signal, there we go. So you'll see that it's flashing appropriately for the speed versus the way it was earlier that I showed you before we changed it. So you'll see it's flashing just fine as it should. So uh, that's it. Pretty simple to replace. Uh, now we just put the light bulb in, back in the socket and reconnect the housing. So you slide it back in there. Once it goes uh, into place, you'll turn it m maybe a quarter of a turn if, if not there you go, if not less than that. And uh, so you'll see right here by my hand is there's little uh, plugs there that will go in right there to the side of the, uh, the housing. So um, it's fairly simple to, to slide into place. So before we do that, I will show you what that looks like uh, right now. So you'll see those two holes right there. That's where the um, plugs or the adapters or unit will uh, slide into. You slide that in place and then that's it. 
And the next thing you know, next thing we do is we um, take the screws, we screw it in, we put the cover back on, and then we're done. Uh, once again, you don't want to, uh, you want to make sure that you're, uh, hold, that you hold on to these screws so they don't slide into the little gap uh, between the housing and the, um, the car itself. Uh, obviously, it's probably an easy way to get them out, uh, but I'm not going to test it here. Um, so hold that in and, and tighten the screw. Now, obviously, before we tighten this screw completely, we want to put the other one in. Obviously, you don't want to um, tighten one screw when you have multiple screws on any kind of unit. So that being said, we'll take the other one, we'll put that in there, we will screw it all the way down, and then we will continue, and we'll go back to the top one and screw that one in. And lo and behold, we are done. Well, not yet. we got to put the, uh, the cover back in place. So uh, if you set it down at the bottom and then, and then push it in from the top, you just snap it into place. Um, and make sure that it's not covering the seal from the trunk. So like I did, which you'll see here in a second, I will have to pull out the, the seal a little bit. There we go. So make sure you're not um, impeding that and messing that up. So pull that back out. Um, and that's it. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, leave them down below. Uh, like, subscribe, all that wonderful jazz. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. All right, thanks for watching, everyone.